Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Friday, July 15th, 2016. And it is absolutely disgusting out right now. Uh, temperatures ranging as of 6.43 a.m. anywhere from the upper 60s to lower 70s over the far northern interior. Mid to upper 70s already in the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. Areas of fog already uh, have developed over portions of Long Island and Connecticut. With dew points are in the lower to mid 70s along the coast and upper 60s to lower 70s over the interior. A few mid 60s as you head into uh, central and uh, northeastern Pennsylvania. The overall theme here is that it is already warm and humid and it is going to get hot and humid by this afternoon with temperatures ranging from anywhere from 89 to 95 degrees throughout the northern mid Atlantic this afternoon leading to a heat index that is definitely going to approach 100 degrees. So if you have any outdoor activities today, or if you're just walking around any one of the major cities, Philadelphia or New York City, please use some caution, drink water, have a water bottle with you. You're going to need it uh, because uh, it is going to be rather uncomfortable out there and rather humid. The good news is that the high humidity will start to decrease later this afternoon on through tomorrow. Bad news is that the hot temperatures remain with temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s tomorrow. Is there a threat for a thunderstorm? And not that much. Now, to be clear here, we have a cold front that's approaching the region. You have a few isolated showers here. The thunderstorm threat would best be described as isolated. The problem is that any thunderstorm that does form is going to be capable of some very heavy downpours, frequent lightning, Wind gusts over 60 miles per hour. In other words, it's kind of an all or nothing proposition. Uh, there's a good chance that you see absolutely nothing today and you remain bone dry. However, where those thunderstorms form, you're definitely going to feel it uh, with a very impressive potential for severe thunderstorms if the cap is broken. So again, it's kind of an all or nothing. You either end up with dry conditions all day with a rather uncomfortable air mass in place or you get hit with one of these isolated rogue thunderstorms that could really pack a wallop. So on the infrared satellite picture, you see that cold front that is approaching from the Ohio River Valley. It will get here by this evening and then kind of just linger right along the New Jersey coast for tomorrow. So we'll have to watch out for any waves of low pressure to develop along the cold front boundary that can produce additional scattered showers and thunderstorms tomorrow evening. Again, right now it's an isolated threat. But any type of trigger with this type of tropical air mass in place can produce some rather impressive rainfall uh, totals in a few isolated locations. So there's something that we, we really have to watch. Once this cold front moves through, we start to decline in our temperatures, especially for the middle of next week as we head more towards near normal temperatures. So let's dive into this forecast for this afternoon. Again, watch out for a few isolated showers or thunderstorms, otherwise scattered cloud cover. Temperatures ranging from the upper 80s to lower 90s, a few mid-90s mixed into the Delaware River Valley. With humid conditions through the mid-morning hours, and then we start to see a slow decline in the humidity as we head towards this afternoon and evening. Still, it's going to feel rather uncomfortable any way you slice it, even if there is a slight decrease in the humidity. You're not going to feel the difference if you're in a subway, that is for sure. For this evening, again, watch out for a few isolated showers and thunderstorms. That's going to continue on through tonight into tomorrow morning. Look for lows tomorrow morning in the lower to mid 70s. Again, the key word here is isolated. Most locations will remain dry. For tomorrow afternoon, we'll watch that area of low pressure developing along the stalling cold front that could produce a few isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms capable of very heavy downpours. Temperatures will range from the upper 80s to lower 90s. And for Sunday, high pressure takes a little bit more control. Still an isolated shower is a threat, but definitely much lower humidity. Lows in the upper 60s to lower 70s, highs in the mid to upper 80s. For Monday, we'll have a warm front that will start to lift northward. That's basically our old stationary cold front lifting north as a warm front. Watch out for a few isolated thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 70s, highs in the lower to mid 90s as that warm front lifts northward. On Tuesday, a cold front will approach the region with a few isolated showers and thunderstorms. 
Temperatures range from the lower to mid 70s for lows, mid to upper 80s for highs. And then on Wednesday, high pressure will take hold with clearing skies, lows in the upper 60s to lower 70s, highs in the mid 80s. And on Thursday, high pressure will remain in control with clear skies, lows in the mid to upper 60s, highs in the lower to mid 80s. And then on Friday, another cold front will approach the region. Again, isolated shower threat at this point. Generally high pressure and control. Look for lows in the upper 60s to lower 70s, highs in the mid to upper 80s. That is your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NY and JPA weather. Please be careful out there and, and keep an eye on elderly and your kids out there as far as the heat is concerned. Make sure they have plenty of water. And as always, stay safe out there.